Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today in this session we are going to learn about different types of assertions that we can use in SOAP UI. So in the earlier session we have already learned about what are assertions. So assertions are the validations that we do on the responses and basically this is we have to check expected versus actual and based on that we make our test case or test step as pass or fail. So today we will see different types of assertions and we will see assertions like contains or not contains. We will see some assertions on the X path and we will see some compliance and standard assertions and we will also see some assertions that we can do on the JSON responses. So let's get started and let me open my SOAP UI. So the SOAP UI is up and let me just close this starter page and here let me go to my project and let me go to test suite 1 and here I have a test case by the name assertions and inside this I have two requests one is the SOAP request and then the other one is a GET request. So I will go to the SOAP request first and just run this so it will give me the currency for the country for which I am giving the ISO code. So IN is the ISO code for India. If I run this I am getting the currency code and the currency name for India. Now I will go to this tab for assertions and I will click on this plus icon and here I have different types of assertions. Let us first look at property content assertions and here we have contains. So I can select contains and say add and I want to check some value should be present in the response. So if I say INR that should be present here and I say OK. So you can see this passes because this shows as a green. Now you can also uh, select this ignore case comparison. So in that case if I say INR in smaller case and I say ignore case com comparison it will still pass and you can also use this content as a regular expression as well. So this is content assertion and let us go back and look at not contains will be similar if you want to validate that some particular value should not be present in the response you can use this. Let us come to X path assertion and let me add this and here you can see it has given us this window for adding the X path. So for XPath what you have to do is you have to click on this declare and it will give you this namespaces and then you have to give the path for the value that you want to assert. So for example I want to assert this uh, rupees so the tag is m colon s name so I will say m colon s name and here you will say select from current and you are getting the value here rupees. So as of now whatever the response is based on that I am getting the value and here I am saying I've, I have to assert this on every response. So I will save this and now whenever I will run it will check rupees is present or not. Okay. Now in case of X path match you can also have some wild character. So I am saying uh, have character and I will say star here star U P E E S. So whatever sh is matching this particular statement should pass and I say save and you can see it still passes. Okay. So you can you can use wild characters you can ignore namespace prefixes or ignore XML comments as well. So for now I will just keep it as rupees and say save and this is our X path match validation assertion. Now we also have X query match and the difference here is instead of giving an X path you can also give a complete X query. So in case of X query you can actually give a complete query. So again it will be you will say declare and then you can give your query but also you can give X path as well. So for example if I again give the same thing I say M underscore S ISO code M underscore S ISO code and I say select from current and you can see it is giving me this particular value INR inside this particular tag. 
and I can save this and then I can also have some query for example if I want to have some logic and then do comparison or validation of my result I can create a X query here let me go back to add assertions and now let us go to compliance and status and standards so here we have invalid HTTP status codes we can add this and we can give the status codes that we do not want to see for example 401 or 500 and so on and I say ok so you can see it is passing because we are not getting any such status codes let us go to the next assertion which is not SOAP fault so uh, this is a session that will check for the response is a proper SOAP message or not so in case of SOAP we have a standard and we have a proper schema or a syntax of the message so it will just check whether your SOAP me message is proper as per the SOAP standards or not and if you go to uh, SOAP response again this will be a check against the standards of SOAP message so you can add this as well and then we have valid HTTP code so here you can add the HTTP codes that you are expecting so for example I say I am expecting 200 and I say ok and this passes then if we go to script assertion here we can actually add a groovy script so whatever validations you want to do with the help of groovy script you can add it here and then this will be assert it and your response will be validated against this script and then we have SLA assertion so this is response SLA so SLA is a acronym for service level agreement and basically here response SLA what we do is here we can add the maximum response time and when we say for example I say 200 here so I am expecting the response to come within 200 milliseconds and if it takes more than 200 milliseconds that will be considered as a failure and if I say ok now here you can see this failed because my actual response time was 452 milliseconds but my SLA was 200 which did not meet the SLA and that's why it's failed right so this is what SLA is now let us come to our rest request and here if I run this this is giving me a JSON response so I am giving a country Taiwan and it is giving me the all the names and details of Taiwan so if I go to assertions now and go to this plus icon to add assertions here contains is same but then we have a JSON path count assertion so here I will say add and here I can give a JSON expression so here what you can do is you can go to your browser and you can search for JSON pathfinder and you will have a lot of online tools and softwares where you can find the path of your JSON also there is this JSON pathfinder chrome extension and you can add it to your chrome in my case it is already added so if I go to this JSON pathfinder here I click here you can give your JSON message here or JSON response here and then you can search for the node so in my case let me go and copy my response which is a JSON response and here I will paste it and now here let me say I want this name okay and I will say submit so here you can see uh, at the bottom so here you can see it has given us the path and the result so it has found the name at the root node which is Taiwan then it has found name under currencies and then under languages so for example I want this particular JSON path I will copy it from here now go to my SOAP UI and in the JSON path count I will select this and then I will I will give this in the JSON path expression here this JSON path and then I will say select from current and I am getting the count as 1 so there is only one occurrence of this particular JSON path expression and I can say save 
and similarly i can add a assertion for json path match and i will do the same thing i will add the json path expression here select from current and it will give me the current value and i just want to go with this i can also test it and it says this is working fine and then i will save this and this is working fine then we have in case of json we have json path existence match as well i can click on add and let me give a different json path let me give here region i will select for region here i will say submit and this is only one occurrence i will copy this go here and select from current and here you can see this json path expression is true that means it is present in the response and i will just save this and this is also passing okay so here this is how we can do assertion on json response we can do a json match we can do a count for some particular node we can do existence match and also we have this json path regex match and here now in case of json path expression you can actually give a expression json path expression and in the regular expression you can give the value that you are expecting and you can actually give the exact value or you can also give some regular expression here and then in case this is true or false you can give here so for example in this case i am expecting that this particular json path expression should match asia and that is true and i will say save and here it is passing okay so this is how you can do all the assertions on a json path and then the compliance standards are same you can do script assertions and sla as well so these are the different types of assertions you can do there are some general assertions that you can add on any message or any response then there are some xpath specific assertions and then there are some json specific assertions so i hope this session was very useful for you and you know assertions and you know how you can add assertions to your soap and rest messages i will meet you in the next episode of soap ui thank you for watching